Hello there, Evie here. You catch me at a bit of a, a bit of a low point uh, in this channel's, uh, probably the lowest point in this channel's um, uh, very short uh, experience so far. Uh, basically, uh, I've just finished the Inwin 301 uh, water cool build. You can check out in the top right hand corner there. I'm a bit uh, sick at the moment, so excuse my voice. Um, and uh, and essentially, I took the uh, system out of that case. Case is all packed away now. Uh, I'm setting up, <coughs> setting up a uh, a test bench, a uh, sort of just. Uh, open test bench, so I can just do some uh, do some work and get on with stuff uh, while I'm waiting to do the next build, the next case, uh, which will happen in a day or two's time. I'll start it. Anyway, when setting up the test bench, unfortunately, uh, none of the RAM was being detected. I had to take a couple of sticks out in order to test different slots and that sort of thing, but none of it was working. Uh, the CPU light was flashing on the um, on the Easy Debug LEDs, and uh, and that was a uh, cause concern. So take the uh, the CPU out and I discovered that one of the pins uh, on the uh, on the socket is bent is bent down I'm not entirely sure when that happened uh, I might have been when taking the, uh, the motherboard out I had a bit of a difficulty taking it out of the Inwin 301 uh, it was a bit stiff uh, it also might have been when <coughs> which I think is most likely when I was using some thermal paste that was new but it was an old one so I unsealed it and put it on it was very thick and I thought is that gonna is that gonna work? I tried it. It might have put a bit too much pressure on the CPU. So uh, so anyway, the uh, the fix will hopefully be getting a very small flathead screwdriver and just lifting up that pin ever so slightly as to not snap it off, but just enough to be able to make contact with all of these pads on the CPU. So uh, so I'm gonna give that a shot. I really hope that it works out. Otherwise, I'm gonna be about 100 or so pounds down. Uh, having to get a new motherboard, that would be a huge shame and a big blow to the channel because that money could go towards cases. Um, so anyway, thank you very much for coming along for the ride. Uh, I should be mostly through this process by now, but I'll just be getting ready to uh, to lift that pin up. Uh, you may have noticed there that the uh, the pin was bent down uh, quite considerably. Uh, I'm surprised it was was bent down that much. I actually found it's very difficult to get the uh, the very small flathead that I could find underneath you uh, if you need to do this yourself I would uh, I would recommend getting some sort of uh, uh, needle or you know a knitting pin or something like that just to be able to get it up a little bit to start off with very, very difficult um, difficult part in doing it because obviously when you're trying to uh, when you're trying to get underneath it you could slip and damage other pins um, so yeah so I'm not going to talk uh, for the rest of the um, the rest of the video now until the end when we when we fire it up but uh, we shall see how it goes. Okay, so I think that went uh, fairly, fairly well. Uh, it sort of lined up with the other pins, so this is very much a moment of truth time, so flick it on, hope for the best. Uh, I haven't actually turned it on since, uh, since then, just put the cooler back on and we'll see. Okay, so the DRAM is flashing has not happened yet. DRAM light, well, the Easy BIOS light was on. VGA, so that's the graphics, which is an unusual graphics setup. I haven't normally got it without a graphics card. Okay, uh, what's it saying? Right. Okay, so we've got eight gigs of RAM. That's expected, which that's what's in there. Detected all devices. Run setup will continue. Let's continue. I haven't got a keyboard plugged in. Alright, two secs. Okay, so that's the keyboard F2. It's running. Something's happening. 
Everything's resetting itself for some reason. VGA's come up again. I might need to have to plug in the graphics card to see if it's going to... Wow, there we go. Wow. Alright, well, there we go. That's uh, how to fix the CPU pin if you accidentally have it bent down. The funny thing is, is that uh, I didn't actually um, take the CPU out of the socket for that damage to happen. Uh, it must have happened just accord down to pressure uh, in the wrong places on the CPU. So, so yeah, uh, thank you very much for coming along for that ride. That certainly got me concerned, um, considering that would push timing for all the other videos back and money and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm amazed actually that that worked. Um, uh, actually, that came to mind from uh, Linus Tech Tips, so obviously thank Linus Tech Tips for that. Um, but yeah, sorry my voice is so so gone, and uh, sorry the place looks like an absolute mess. But uh, anyway, hopefully I will catch you in uh, in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you then.